Once, long ago, there was an old house, and in this old house, there was a room, and in this room, there was a chair, and sitting on this chair was an old man. He was a rough, rugged, and like I said, extremely aged man. He didn't know how long he had been there, but he did know how he came to that place. One day, his friends had told him that there was an old house that he needed to visit, unless he didn't want to. Twenty dollars was a pretty good amount of money. So he was like, well, why not? Why not go to this old house? It can't be that bad. So, that day, he brought his flashlight and went to this old house. Once he had gotten there, he realized why somebody would want someone else to go in this house so very badly, because, of course... This house looked pretty exciting in a really old, old way. He knocked on the front door and immediately realized, why Why should he knock? Of course nobody's in there. So he opened the door and he walked in to the entrance room. And in this entrance room, he found two doors, one at the top of some stairs and one leading into the kitchen. He decided to take the door to the kitchen. And when he walked in, he felt, he felt it get quite cold. He, his hands started to freeze a little bit. Bundled them into his shirt. He started to walk farther into the kitchen and he saw that there was nothing, nothing at all in here. Just a broken table and a chair. And curiously enough, there was a, another door at the other end of the kitchen. He walked over, opened it, emitting a loud groaning sound as the door opened. And he saw that it led down into a basement. He decided that he should go down there, and s just to make sure that the person willing to give him the money would actually pay up. He took his first step down, and he started to doubt that if this was such a great idea. And he took another step, and realized that he was already going down and there was nothing stopping him now. Step by step, he slowly made it into the basement. It's a long, long, long stairway, he thought to himself as he walked. But right before he got down to the very bottom, he heard something. The front door of the old house swung open, smashing against the wall. He could hear it clearly. And then he started to hear a sound. as somebody, incredibly heavy, walked into the kitchen room. He booked it all the way down the stairs and started to run into the basement, looking for somewhere to hide. The only thing he found was a cupboard in the left side of the room. He looked at it, and he saw that he could probably fit inside. It was his only hope. He knew that whatever was upstairs was sinister and evil and wanted only to kill him. Then, he heard the thing stop at the top of the stairs. He didn't even dare to look back. He, sh he walked over to the cupboard and reached his hand out. And then he realized that there was something inside this cupboard. Something bad. He could just sense it. The thing at the top of the stairs took its first step, smashing against the cold ground as it did. 
it took another step. Thud. And then thud, thud, thud. It started to charge down the stairs. He reached out his hand, grabbed the handle. Thud, thud, thud. He opened it slowly. He didn't want to see what was inside, but it had to be better than what was about to get him. Thud, thud, thud. And he opened it all the way. And what he saw was a large pepperoni pizza.